This is a piece of trash. Ew, yuck. This is a video game. What do these have in common? Uh, absolutely nothing, I just felt like saying it. Most of us know that video games give us the ability to do whatever we want, like climbing the tallest mountains or shooting the best of friends. Most of us also know that trash absolutely sucks. Thousands of bodies of water are suffering the same fate of getting polluted by trash. So the premise is simple. Can I make a game in just under 24 hours about picking up trash to help the environment? Or will I suffer the same fate as the bodies of water and make a trash game? So, uh, slight problem. Things didn't go as smoothly as I thought it would. Let me quickly summarize my first three hours making the game. I open up Unity, let it load for five minutes, think about a game idea for an hour, come back to my computer, realize someone else has done it, think about another game idea, realize that I copied Bargy, ask him if I could steal his entire game. Look, pal, you, you can't just steal my entire game. Oh, uh, okay, um, can I at least steal half your game? Rethink my life choices and finally come to the best game idea to ever approach mankind. Picking up trash on the shore instead of the ocean. Yeah, it's not the best. Regardless, picking up trash on the shore is equally as important as collecting in water, so I just went with it. Logically, the first step is to make the environment, because that's where the player is going to be. The goal of this game is to put the player in a position where they have to pick up trash as fast as possible. So, to exaggerate the intensity, I added an island instead of a shore. I also added a simple water shader and, wow, what? That actually kind of looks good. Oh. A game is not a game without a player. Consequently, I made a player as a robot. I then made the robot be able to move across the entire island using a player movement script. Currently, it looks like it's floating, so I added a particle system as well as a floating animation. Okay, yeah, I, I just realized this is incredibly boring. So, let's spice this up a bit. Let's talk about your brain. In psychology, there's a term called operant conditioning. Operant conditioning is a method of learning that uses rewards and punishments to guide the correct behavior. Which is cool and all, but how is it even used? Have you ever done something bad and was punished? So you never did it again? And that's operant conditioning. Using operant conditioning, I can shape the player's behavior to whatever I please it to be. Oh wow, my psychology notes are really making me powerful, huh? So let's implement operant conditioning using trash. I put together a neat little trash spawning script that summons trash all around the player. There's three types of trash. The wine bottle, the soda can, and the fork. These pieces of trash will scale up and spawn in a random location around the player. Slight problem, the trash falls off the island. Eh, not much I can do about that, so I destroyed the trash if it hit the water, because clearly, that's how it works in real life. So now, if the player collects trash, they will be awarded $1, and if they don't, well, they're gonna have to pay. If the player doesn't pick up trash, within 3 seconds, a pollution point rises. If the player gets 100 pollution points, then it's game over for them. But that's not all, no. I've got one last trick up my sleeve. I'm going to take the total amount donated to Team Seas and add RNG to my game. Here's how I'll do it. Team Seas has a website where they show their total amount donated. I will use the script to take that amount and then assign it to random power-ups. Sound simple enough? Yeah, I, I think we should do that. Uh, oh yeah, um, about that. I was completely wrong. So Team Seas has this animation that counts up and every time I download the total amount, it, it says zero. So I was actually so close to giving up, but finally, I had one last hope. I was gonna find this JSON file stored in- oh. Oh. It was that simple? What? Oh, okay. So by scraping this data and removing all the excess junk and converting it into an integer, we have the total amount donated. Now I have to convert this into three power-ups. And this is how I did it. The power-ups get activated if the total donated is divisible by a number. The first power speed is activated if the total donated is divisible by two. The second magnet is activated when the total donated is divisible by three. And lastly, size, which is activated when the total donated is five. Now, I, I know this was a complete waste of time, but if you want the best score possible in my game, you better donate for good RNG. All in all, Team Seas is genuinely a good cause. And if you can donate, then please donate. The link is in the description.